Hello and a warm welcome to Selhurst Park on what is a very pleasant night for football I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Crystal Palace up against Watford. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's the Palace 11. Jeffrey Schlup starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Jordan Ayew. So the initial 11 for Watford. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape, but if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. And this confrontation is underway. Lusa. And unable to keep possession. Out of play then, and a Palace throw in forthcoming. Mark Guehi. Tyrick Mitchell. Are you? And you can sense the threat is there. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, let's look at this again because it gets better and better each time you see it. It's perfect technique. Lots of movement on the ball and nothing the opposition can do about this apart from don't give free kicks away. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Joao Pedro. Davis in possession. Very quick thinking there. Jeffrey Schlup. Are you? They couldn't this maintain possession. No Ali, can you please meet Jennifer Bazet at the ticket office? Are you? Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Are you? Oh, tremendous goal! A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0.
Keenan Davis. Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. Can he get one back? Oh, no, is the answer. It was a gilt-edge opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. You have to say that's a big chance missed. He had to score there. That makes it difficult now. Wilfried Zaha. Tyrick Mitchell. Jeffrey Schlupp. Ducouré. And an astute piece of defending. Davis. Joao Pedro. Moving into the advanced position. It's a perfect challenge. Gives it a go. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Going short. And a very good challenge. Joel Ward. Ezzy. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. Chance here. Well, the keeper committed himself. Short corner it is. Are you? Can't miss, surely. Brilliantly blocked. Corner again. Now the delivery, not messing around with that clearance. Imran Lusa. Well, Palace are certainly controlling the possession, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yeah, it's really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to... Oh! I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. So back in action, and it's looking rather like a matter of how many for Palace. Keenan Davis. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart.
And so the ball rolling again after what was a dazzling first 45 showing from Palace. Are we in for more of the same in the second half? Well, he's lost it. Imran Lusa. Promising sequence. And that's an important intervention. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He's protecting it well. Ducouré. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Schloop. On to Zaha. And given away. Ismail Assar. Pedro. And he stopped them in their tracks. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Zaha. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Pedro Bakuna Hamza Chowdhury Saar in possession and in the perfect position to read it 20 minutes to go in this one and since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here Wilfried Zaha Ayu oh he's given it away And again, negligence when in possession. Oh, great attacking play. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Away again, this game very much over as a contest. Mario Gaspar, Ismail Assar, Bakuna, firing it towards goal. Superb block. Oh, big opportunity! And there it is a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. of goals 5-1 it is Leandro 
Nice looking pass. He continues his run. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Over it comes. And given away. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Schloop. On to Mateta. Tony. Useful looking ball. He's managed to get in behind. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. What a goal! And there goes the final whistle. Well, suffice it to say, the Watford fans won't be going home happy following this defeat. Oh, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.